It is down to the final days before Election Day, and LA's mayoral candidates are making every moment count. They're crisscrossing the city, meeting with voters, and pushing their message and vision for LA. Kick Online's Lori Perez with the latest on the race to be the city's next mayor. Lori Caruso. Rick Caruso rolled into historic Filipino town Saturday to take a lot of selfies and ask voters to get on board with his plan for L.A. Tom Bradley was very clear when he first appointed me when I was 26 years old. As a commissioner, he sat me down and he said, you wake up every day to serve the public, period. And I've never forgotten that, and that's the culture I'm going to bring to the mayor's office. And then he said that he can build like uh, 30, 30,000 um, homeless beds. And that's incredible, you know. I know he's going to make it. I know he will deliver. It's a message that struck a chord with the crowd at Mariachi Plaza in Boyle Heights. Analysts say the billionaire developer is polling high, even closing a 15-point gap in recent weeks, in large part because of a focus on Latino voters. We're politicians. We know that they've had their place and time in history. But this today... Caruso is on the right side of history. He's not a career politician. Meanwhile, Congresswoman Karen Bass was in her own double decker, stopping in South LA. We're going to get this across the finish line and we are going to win. After spending months trying to earn your vote, now her message has also turned to making sure you actually cast it. My message is for Angelinos to go out and vote. We have 72 more hours. 12% of LA has voted. We need a lot more people to go to the polls, and I am convinced if the people turn out, we will get across the finish line and we will win. Count these two for her. She's been doing community organizing, door knocking, fighting for the empowerment of our community for many, many decades. It's like your sister's running for office to me, to be honest. She's she's from here, and that's that's important to us. And that was KCAL 9's Lori Perez reporting.